everyone, this is Melanie from 3D Natives. I'm in the Form Next studio and as you can see behind me we're in Frankfurt where the biggest trade show in additive manufacturing is taking place. Today at Form Next 2021 there are a lot of exhibitors that are showcasing their 3D printers. They're covering a lot of different 3D printing technologies from SLA to SLS, DMLS but also PolyJet. But today we're interested in the biggest 3D printers that they are at Form Next 2021. So follow me, I will show you the biggest machines that there are out there. Our first 3D printer comes from the north of Italy, from CMS. It's actually not their largest printer, but as you can see behind me, it's quite impressive. It has a building volume of 5 meters by 2.5 meters by 900 millimeters. It's capable of 3D printing any type of thermoplastics, from standards to more technical, but it's also capable of milling your parts because you can change uh, the head of the machine in 30 seconds. Our next machine comes from the Netherlands. I'm on the booth of CEAD and behind me you can see a robotic arm that is actually printing with PP filled with glass fiber. It's printing this piece since seven hours today. This printer has a building volume that can go up to 4.2 meters with an extrusion speed that can go up to 80 kilograms per hour. On this printer you can also change the head very quickly to mill your parts. It's quite impressive. Our next machine is based on a totally different technology because it uses DLP or more specifically hot lithography. I'm on the booth of Cubicure, which is an Austrian manufacturer, and their big machine right here has a building volume of 1 meter per 28 centimeters per 30 centimeters. What's interesting is that their printing head goes from right to the left and can cure one layer of material in 90 seconds only. You can print small parts, bigger parts, but if you're focusing on small series, you can create up to 20,000 pieces per day. That's amazing. So our fourth machine is totally different from the ones that we have seen before, because here we can print metal pieces. So I'm standing on the booth of Triton, which is a manufacturer from Israel. And basically the machine behind me is a three-step uh, process uh, machine. The first step is to 3D print a mold. It's based on the inkjet technology. Then the second step, you're going to fill in the voids of the mold with paste. And then finally, the third step is that you're going to pass process uh, the piece so that the paste goes out of the part. And then the process repeats itself until you get the final part. Today you can print with this machine with different steel alloys, so stainless steels, but also in canal. So our last machine comes from MX3D. I'm sure you heard of this company that comes from the Netherlands uh, because they're behind the 3D printed bridge that was installed in Amsterdam a few months ago. So their machine is used in standard robotics and standard welding, but they develop their own software to print any kind of metals out there. They're using one technology to 3D print large pieces in all kinds of applications.